Can y'all hear me? Oh, good morning, cuz. I'm not even connected. <laughs> it's gonna pick up your voice good? Where your where your little mic thing at? Uh, I know I project my voice. Oh. Don't you, I feel like this should be up higher so it won't. Cause I'm scared if it has a little accident. Do you think it should be like here? Yeah, move it. I can't get it. Good money, we good money. I literally cut my live on 10 minutes ago. <laughs> really? Yeah. All right. Should I cut it off? For what? I don't know. Be good. Be good. All right. I'm blocking you. All right. Wait. All right. <laughs> hey, guys. Wait. Move this way. What about if, what about if it's in front of like the the pink case, like oh. to the to the right of the pink case? Yeah. Still kind of blocking the right. See, they don't have to see me because you know. They don't need to see you. No, no, they already know who it is. Because <laughs> okay. they don't need a horse. Right. This is how we looking right now. Get my hair out there. Okay. Good? Mm -hmm. Good angle? Yeah. All right. Where, where's the ca which camera? Oh, that's camera. This one. Okay. So we're we going to be talking, okay. but the camera going to be down. So, okay. all right. You ready? Mm -hmm. All right. Jess Carey here. Let us know who we talking to today. Talking to you, girl, Cherry Coke, man. Uh -huh. Miss Velvet Room Podcast. Okay, you know? okay. 
All right, we love it. Oh, I was, I was also appreciate, you know, having me on your show. I you thought know. she was going to get real, real kinky, though. You turned up a little bit. I thought she was going to turn all But I have, to, I have to respect, you know, because, you know, I am looking for a wife, so I can't really be how I want to be, you know, out You weren't really looking for... What I type was. of wife, though? Because you were kind of crazy. A, a wife was going to respect me and my craft. Because, you know, with what we do, like, sometimes... You have to blur the lines of love piece. You know, let's say you're trying to pipe up an interview or whatnot. Mm -hmm. You gonna have, you might flirt a love piece. I do. And I'm pretty sure if you, you know, you're in a situation, whatever you is in, like, oh right. boy, ain't gonna like, what the fuck, bro? You talking about? Why you talking about a nigga dick size? Nah, you know, you yeah. So, <laughs> you know, that's why I couldn't really turn up as much as I want to. But anyway, um, is Cherry Coke your real name? No. So like, my real name's Vonda. Um, I've been going by Cherry Coke though for like for the last nine years. Mm -hmm. So like people legit see me somewhere and they be like Cherry Coke. Like mm -hmm. nobody says Vonda. So um, Cherry Coke is like my Vonda's alter ego. Your your uh, like your little piped up side. Or what like if yeah. let's say if you was to commit Cherry Coke is the turn up. Yeah, let's say you was to commit a, a, a morally offensive act with uh, <laughs> uh, 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 the opposite sex. You were blaming on Cherry. Like, bro, Cherry Cup was on that brown. It like, was her fault. All right? Yeah. All right, all right. So, besides the podcast, I know you got the, um, you do the shirts, the yeah. don't, don't stop killing stop me shirt. Stop killing us. So, like, how did you, like, what, what made you come up with that, that whole thing? Um, so the stop killing the shirts is behind, I actually rebranded myself. So, mm -hmm. It's up under Von LaCherry brand. And that's not going to be just about the shirts. I'm going to do a whole lot of different stuff. Because I got a lot of different talents or whatever. But the Stop Killing Us, I've always been, like, pro-black. But very kind of, like, quiet about it. Because, like, speaking, I guess, about, like, racial stuff was, like, politics and, like, religion these days. It's kind of, like, touchy. Mm -hmm. So I was kind of on the outside. And um, when all the killings, like, start blatantly happening, like, it was already happening before, but now it's like, okay, and it's like, everybody see it and stuff like that. I just got tired. Like, I'm black. I'm raising black boys to be kings and men. So it's like, I don't want my kids to make headlines. So like, stop killing us. We tired of y'all. Quit playing with us. So the George Floyd thing wasn't... It, it was definitely it. inspired, like, with, like, 1,000%. Because it was like, yo, like, you straight up killing us. Like, this is not no accident. It's not... Such and such happened, like you, you straight up killing us mm -hmm. at this point. Like you killing us. Okay. And I felt like a lot of people had voices that was quiet about it or whatever. So the shirts is like, you ain't really gotta say too much. Mm -hmm. You gonna let your clothing speak for you. Mm -hmm. So it's been dope. Like um, it took off way faster than you expected. Than I expected. Like my daughter and other people been like, yo, you need somebody to work with you and help you now because. It hasn't been too much yet, and I've already sold over 150 shirts. Really? Yeah. So you, so you didn't give none of them away. You, like, I you gave, sold every one of them. I gave um, 10 shirts away to... I had a promo shoot. Okay. So people that came to the promo shoot, I gave everybody... Actually, I'm sorry. It was probably like 12, because I gave everybody one shirt of each for the photo shoot. Um, and then I just gave Pino one. I haven't given away, given the shirts away to anybody. Like, my father didn't purchase the shirts. Of course, they're going to purchase them, you know, to show the support like they, and whatnot. Nah, they had to. Now, my dad tried to be like, send me, oh, so like, nah. <laughs> like, it's straight business. Um, so, now I haven't been, like, um, giving them out like that. Everybody that you see that I've been posting them, they've all supported me by actually purchasing a shirt or being hands-on involved with the whole brand in some sort of way. Mm. Um, since you miss pro black and whatnot, how you feel about the whole Nick Cannon situation? I feel like it's fucked up because what he was saying was basically the truth, and that's what that's what I stand for with the stop killing us too. Everybody afraid to speak their truth because we got repercussions mm. that's gonna happen when we speak our honesty. So I think it's fucked up. I feel like a lot of corporate America don't fuck with us anyways if we don't got nothing to offer them. Mm. Like if you like. If they can't monetize off your off, you, off your you, your pain and stuff, you're pointless. You're irrelevant to them. You right. Hold no value. So that's where they like getting like real street niggas. Then, yeah. like that's all. Like I feel with the, even let's say the, the music thing. 
like a lot of people who's getting signed or the ones that get the, the look you like why are you out of like let's say right. let's say um a person like juju should have been blew up oh, but yeah, sure. if he ain't rapping about fucking bitches killing niggas selling crack and you know scamming it's not he ain't getting looked at because you know because he's speaking the truth on america mm. so that's why he overlooked because he at this point now you you're not a threat to your own kind now you're a threat to us mm. So I think, like, in Juju case, I think, because he should have been sh- signed a long time ago. Mm-hmm. But I feel like um, he's not putting out the black urban violence type of music. So he kind of overlooked. He ain't like, juicing them up. More, he ain't juicing them up. about more knowledgeable shit that, mm-hmm. that people read about. Okay. So, I All agree. Right. True, true, true. So, um, how you feel about the whole... Uh, the Meg the Stallion situation. Tori did it. Was that dry snitching? I feel like they was already dry snitch. I really didn't. I feel like he I, he he really did it. Um, you don't think he did it? No, nah, because I feel like you, like that's what a lot of men suffer from. The whole public opinion thing. Yeah. Like they'd be like, oh yeah, he did it. Like yeah, I ain't go to court. Mama. He might have had reasons. I don't think but, that he like. But that's what y'all females do. I feel like it. the simple fact that it was Tori. And Meg, y'all females be like, oh, yeah, yeah. Like, y'all quick to jump to a conclusion when it comes to a man. Like, y'all don't give him his his time in court, so to speak. No, here's the thing, though. That's what I just said. Like, I don't blame him. He might have been. Don't blame him. What per- you mean? He might have been provoked. He might have. People do stuff sometimes that's, like, it caused them to, to act like that. Who that? That's not me. That's definitely you. Oh, is it me? That's definitely one of your phones. Oh. Busy guy. That's you. Uh, how was that me? Cause my phone, my one one phone is recording the other phone. I, I oh. both my phones are do not disturb. That's what I do when I'm. Doing I did. Interviews. I did. I think I did that too. Also. Yeah, not one of them. Oh, well, what you mean? We still recording. Oh, okay. So yeah, I think that like maybe because we don't know what happened. Do I think he did it? Yes. Why? I don't even Nobody care to said- know why he did it. Like maybe she did some. What if she robbed up- him? What if she robbed him? She- I was just gonna say maybe she did some fucked up scandalous ass shit. So if he if she robbed him and he shot her, yeah, she shouldn't have robbed him. So she deserved to get shot. So you agree? Yo, like but she probably did it, some uh, fucked up shit. So you think Tory? So you giving Tory the benefit of the doubt? Like, no, he's a good guy. He doesn't yeah, look like, like the he type kill her. Just... He ain't do no harm. Like he just shot her in the foot. She'll be all right. She probably can't bust a dance move for a little bit, but I think she good. Well, she probably just still. Yeah, she me. all right. It's not that serious to me. Like, like you know, a girl might get mad and stab her dude. It ain't that serious. That snap shit. <laughs> I literally watch Snap and like Lifetime all day when I'm home and able to watch TV. What you mean able to watch TV? Like you watch cable or you? Because I'm bit. Yeah, I mean I have cable. <laughs> but so I'm you busy. one of the ones that still pay for cable? I'm I'm ready to stop paying for Spectrum because it's mm-hmm. so ridiculous. Which is crazy because I have Fire Sticks too, mm-hmm. but I still pay for cable because it might be something I want to watch is not available. Mm-hmm. So. I'm gonna stop paying for in a while. You don't pay for cable? No, nah, I got Apple TV. Just Wi Fi. Yeah. Yeah. I need to tighten up because it is an expensive bill. Speaking of expensive, how are you dealing with this uh, Corona uh, stuff? Um, For me, like, I know that it's fucked up. You know what I'm saying? What's going on? But for me, it's been like a blessing because it kind of, I was in the like travel industry mm. working with RCI, um, like timeshare stuff, mm. like, doing exchanges. And that got heavily impacted. Yeah, so it was yeah. like, damn, no work. And so it made me kind of just like get back on my entrepreneurship. Like, this ain't what it's going to be like. I can't let the government or what's going on, like, just straight up stop all income. My kids still got to eat. I still got to eat. So it pushed me to kind of get on my shit. So you, you, so you think it's real? The whole pandemic and whatnot? Well, I know, I know that it's real. I know that the virus is real. But Why, I you had it? My my kid had it. So you your kid had corona? I think so. So what happened was this. That's not like bullshit when somebody said what happened, right? Yeah, go so ahead. So my kid, like, he was home and stuff with me, and I had sent him to the daycare. And he came home with, like, 105 degree fever where they called me to pick him up. And so he was, like, hesitant and breathing and all that stuff. So I took him to the ER. Of course, they took... So let me take it back. I ain't gonna say he had it. No, so, he had it. So what? Because that means you was exposed to it. Yeah, so 
it was real bad or whatever. So he had like 104 to five degree fever for like three days straight. They tested him and everything. They never called back. They said they were gonna call back in like three days to five days. They never called back. So I put him on the nebulizer, like the breathing machine and stuff, because he has, has asthma anyway. So he was fucked up. Like he was weak. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, uh. Your recording ended. I told you that was your phone. Y'all gotta watch me. His shit fucking up on air. It's not my fault. Somebody called me. You're supposed to have it on. Do not disturb when you're doing interviews. That's what I do. Uh. Y'all see this shit? <laughs> when you do your YouTube thing, Bruh, this it, is the I rough draft that I'm doing. I'm just doing my own little thing. When you do your YouTube, you better edit this part. I am. I am. <laughs> But talking about Corona, they hit it. You think so? Okay, let's see. When did it? You never talked to nobody that had it? Jimmy Corona? Yeah, that tested positive? Hell no. Really? I promise you. You have, so do you know anybody that know anybody that has tested positive? Hmm. Put it on, do not see. How was it on, do not stir? We got to start over. All right. Okay. All right. I'm still rolling because I'm just going to chop up some edits. I'm not even going to save this on my live, on my page. Nope. Do not disturb wasn't on. I duh. I could have told you that. Am I blocking the lens? Yeah, now you're not. That's crazy. I'm like. <laughs> All right. We back, guys. We back. We back. We back. So this is take two. Take two. <laughs> All, All right. right. So take two. All what right. Is, a real take two, like intro over and all? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Just Carrie here. Let us know who we talking to today. It's your girl, Cherry Coke, man. Miss mm -hmm. Velvet Room Podcast. Mm -hmm. They so, know who I am. Yeah. They, we, well, not everybody. A lot of people. You sure? All right, so why why would you feel that everybody know who Miss Not Cherry everybody, a lot of people. Oh, okay, so you you change your mind. No, right I now. just said a lot of people. Like, what you mean a lot of people? Like, a lot, a lot of people? Like, are you locally known or you're internationally known, regionally, I, globally? I'm still, I think that I'm still just like a local joker. Like, I'm not, um, some people think I'm popular. I don't really think that I am like that, but I know that people know who I am for whatever reasons, just because... Like, I do a lot. Mm. I try to get back to the community. I support everybody. Like, I'm a major supporter. Mm. So, with the, people know me because I give love. All right. You said major supporter. You mean, like, with the movements or major supporter as in, like, let's say I'm a rapper and I'm like, yo, bro, go stream my thing and you're going to do it. Like, yeah, I'm a streamer. So, like, you automatically fuck with them before they fuck with you type of shit. Yeah, that's, and I, I'm getting tired of that, though. Why? At this point. Because, like, I'm more sensitive than what people think or whatever that I push off. So, like, I give love. Like, I give love out of love, not mm. for love. Mm. However, when it's, like, when I'm not getting a little bit of the same love back or, like, from people that I feel like should be giving me that love back, like, it hurt my feelings. I can say Like, I see they fuck with your shirts. Uh, the Don't Kill, Stop Killing Me shirts. Stop Killing Us. Uh, oh, that's Killing Us? Yeah, I they, thought it stopped Killing so, They're killing us. Stop killing us. Is that what the shirt say? Yeah. Oh. All right, so... You got to cop one, then you would know. You're right. I, I, thought I, <laughs> I thought I was going to get one for free when I was on the show, but, you know... I oh, you like, thought I was giving them all out? Like, the people that come on my show just give them out? No, you, yeah, because oh. I ain't gonna lie. When it comes to like merch and whatnot, you think like when, like, hey, bro, you know, like, I got a shirt for you. I'm like, all right. Mm -hmm. Like, every time, like, bro, all the merch I've bought, like, well, I have. Even the new West Orlando shit, like I paid for it. Like every, I'm like, damn, bro. 
I want to yeah. start getting free merch, man. I'm gonna give you a free shirt. For real? Shirt. I got right. you. You, you said purple? Ta- no, nah, promo. Oh, you, right. you were you were tank tops? Are you at tank tops? They they a new edition. I ain't put them out yet. Uh, I wear one. It's summertime too, so. Yeah. So what the shirt say? Stop killing us. Yeah, Stop killing us. Got to tell them, man. All right. So the um with the George Floyd thing, how. You know, like it, it turned up the world. Like, and you know, you got some people that reacted certain ways and whatnot. Um, are you, like, how, what was your whole take on that? Like, you had people that was looting and all that other stuff. So the whole George Floyd thing, it was devastating because mm. it's like, you know that they're killing us. Mm. You know your roots and history, or at least you people should. You mm. know what I mean. You know that racism is still going on. It's just kind of get thrown under the carpet so for it to be put, like, out there. Like, the way the dude looked, like, fuck you, man. You know what I mean? So, and they say he knew him. Yeah, like, he was, a, um, like, a security guard bouncer thing at a club that he worked at. And they say, like, like he purposely, like, now you now you in your uniform, this is my opportunity to go ahead and, and have the ups on you like I wanted to mm. from the beginning. And he felt like it was going to be justified, which it, which it was going to be justified until everybody started um, so you did, speaking out. So you felt like the reaction... Because they didn't... It's not like they arrested him like ASAP. Like Because he a, was going to get away with it. It's okay. still a possible chance. You think so? I think that they might make an example out of him. Mm. But I feel like they wouldn't press the issue. Like, we had to make them press the issue. They didn't give a fuck. I think they did. You think they did? I so felt why it took so long to arrest them? Because like, and then why they had the charges? Well, I was. They had murder. They they they, they get murder. They get murder. Yeah, they, but they upped the charges. At first, it was just some crazy shit. I think manslaughter or something like that. Yeah, but I kind of felt like once they did charge them, they was trying to get something that would stick. You know what I'm saying? So you could do. Because they say if people charged them like well, like first degree, it would have got off. No, they charged them murder, murder three, mm-hmm. murder three. Like they say, if we would have charged him like first degree, it would have stuck because I guess the. Uh, but that was first the, the, degree, the, but still, the, but the technicalities of it. Yeah, like, I think first degree is more like, got off. like probably like, you got to We gotta know, yeah. like you went to go kill somebody, so. Which he did though. That motherfucker crazy. You can't really say he was crazy. When you give him no, crazy, you give him that crazy. that insan- insanity plea. Now I'm you, not to where I feel all, sad I'm, for you. Oh, like you had like fucked up crazy. All right, all right. Speaking of that, how you feel about the the Nick Cannon situation? I feel like he, like, like with the stop killing us. Like I feel like he spoke his piece, which was a while ago. That That's what I'm saying. Like, it went because, bro, <laughs> it was a while like, ago. I was, but so I, they fishing and digging. Now I don't think you know. That's how it is with it. With with what social media and whatnot. Like, I feel like they we ain't go, we ain't gonna know um, what you did un- unless you go viral. Cause I, I'm pretty I think sure I seen probably that thought coming. that he was like on some cool type shit. Like Ooh, Nick Cannon? I feel like people thought that, or his the production company and stuff probably thought that. And when they heard that he finally like, when, cause they had to been here, and I don't know why they bringing it. I'm confused as to why that's getting brought up now. Oh no, cause. But when he stood like, by his statements, I feel like he. Cause, no, no, no. I think cause he, it's not like he stood by his statement. He didn't apologize. He, didn't he make a statement and just recently, like, kind of tried to retract and apologize? I don't know. Because I, I know that so. the reason they was pissed off because he didn't apologize, like, when they wanted him to but why apologize. why he got to be sorry? Like, for what? That's how he genuinely feels. And they, they No, not- but it's, it's not even that. The man, like, okay. Because me and Chapman, we did it. We, um, on, my, on my show, uh, High Standards, by the way. Y'all go check that out. Shout out to High Standards. Um... We we brought up the point. It um it wasn't what he said completely because you know how he he down. You know when somebody I have to bring somebody down to bring me up. Like mm-hmm. when he called white people savages, like they're the real savages, you mm-hmm. know, and all that. I was like, they didn't give a fuck because he said black people are the real Israelites and all that. Right. You feel me? They probably like, oh okay, who who gives a fuck? Mm-hmm. We've been through that. Right. That he's a savage. <laughs> That we're we're animals. Yeah, <laughs> you're an, like, but I feel like that's what was the thing. That like, up. yeah, that, bro, cause, that you know, but we been like, bro, if you could read, like, if you do your history, you'll know what was what it was going on. Like, it's not rocket science to figure out, like, oh, black people, who, what, what our real history is. Exactly. So, that I think that was just the they he, tried them, but it's just like um, almost everything, like. 
with our people because we what keeps the world spinning. You know what I mean? What you mean our people? Like they always like, trying us or like with black people? Uh-huh, uh-huh. I feel like say we're what, not valuable. Really we're not valuable to a lot of white people. Oh, okay. like unless we have something to unless we shoot a basketball, rapping yeah. on the mic or. Yeah, like, some rocks. like, I feel a certain type of way when, like, kids or whatever, they got, like, all these, you know, like, the white coaches, the, the parents is bringing in the black kids, like, they really don't give a fuck about you, but they'll let you bone your daughter, their, their daughter, if they feel like you going somewhere, they're gonna help you. You said that you what? You said what? They'll let you bone their daughter if they feel like you going somewhere, but they really don't even like black people. But if you're say about you to be swear. a celebrity. So you say, so I you swear. say get out is real. Man, it's all real. I've seen that in high school. So you've seen racist white parents let a black dude fuck their daughter because the dude was... Yeah, for the dollars and because they feel like that's their protege. Oh, yeah, that's funny. You don't believe that? I've seen it happen. Wait, I never experienced this because, you know, I've never been that upper echelon of athlete to where... Well, I dated a white girl, the first white girl I dated. I, I'm pretty sure her. I don't think her mom was racist, but maybe her, like her grandpa or something. Somebody. Because here's the thing. Like, my kids, because I have two, like, boys. And one is super, super, like, athletic already at three. And then the other one, he's, like, super, super, like, intelligent. Like, he, he games, he builds stuff, he draws, he does, like, all the intellectual stuff or whatever. Mm-hmm. And I feel like um, I don't want them. Like, I'm not, I'm not racist at all. I have white people in my family and stuff pretty close to me. But I just feel like a lot of them are, like, opportunists with us. Like, I'm going to get you out the hood. I'm going to get you into college. I'm going to do whatever for you for something so I can get the pat on the back. Like, I did that for See, I'm not racist. I did that for that oh, black Oh, like, there's a point where you're like, oh, no, I'm not racist. I got a, I got a black cousin. I got yeah, a black. Exactly. Okay, okay. I feel you. I feel you on that. Um... On lighter note, um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. how, how you feel um, with the whole, uh, how can I put it, like how women are getting their flowers right now and everything? Because, you know, y'all... It's, talk talk it, that shit, what do you mean? Because, you know, it's more black, well, not, listen, I'm black, more female millionaires than, than there is... Um, what you call? Oh, you fall. Oh, but yeah, there's more. Is that okay that the camera? Yeah, it's it's it's, okay. it's more like female millionaires than it is males. Like, are you? Do you, you like that? Tell? It is. It, you yeah. do, do research, but also, a female won't boss up a nigga like a male will boss up a female. I don't agree with that. That is true. Nah. That is true. Nah. See, that's why. I, see, you thought I was gonna make it like. Yay, yeah, women. Nah, no, I, was, I, was, I don't was, agree with that. That's true. That's true. Women, nah, women, you know women won't boss up a I'm nigga. Just gonna, it's, before very, a, it's very rare. So I'm not going to say it's impossible. But you, no, you I said they, right. do do they don't do it at the I same agree. rate. Okay. I agree. All right. I agree. agree? I, I retract. I agree. All right. All right. Because there's a lot of females that's crabs. Like, they feel like, like, dudes should spoil them. Dudes should take care of them. Dudes should put them in, in a predicament to win. It's just all about them. I put up a post like that that was um, actually... Hashtagging off of Ari post. You seen it? Yeah, I seen it. Speaking of that, yeah. um, so you you feel like a female would submit to like well she would, but it's stupid that she submit to a man or like because Ari hers was basically like if a female submits a man, she's a what, a bozo or some shit. Nah, she wasn't she wasn't saying submit. She just like if you gonna sit there and not work, not be on your shit, not bring in no income, or you gonna have this man just taking care of you and you're not doing anything, that's clown shit that a dude will even want you to be like that. Because it is, that is a, a sense of control because now I have to come to you about everything. I have to come to you about eating. Like, my period on, I gotta come to you about, like, man, I need to go to the store. Like, whatever, every single thing I gotta come to you about, that's giving somebody a sense of control, whether they ask for it or not. You willingly gave it to them if you allow yourself to be in a situation. Also, too, um... That's crazy for females. That's crazy that a dude would even want to do something like that because you follow your shit. No, what but do? see, with the submit thing. She wasn't speaking about submitting, though. Nah, that, she was saying something. You know, she's not the most politically correct, you know. But, so I'm but pretty I don't sure. I think she was talking about submission. I think she no, was just talking no, about No, I'm line. pretty sure she said if a, if a nigga like, yo, babe, stop, like if a teetola his chick stop working or something like that. Like if a but nigga that's told not his submitting. female. Submitting. Yeah, it is. Because no, like, hey, you stop working, just be at home, you know taking care of the kids and you know or making sure i got a hot meal you you can do what you want just i don't want you to you know stress yourself so you don't, out. you don't think a female boss can be submissive 
to her marriage? That's how she should, but I don't think they're there. That's what y'all. I'm gonna say y'all because you're included because you 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 disagree with me earlier. Well, I yeah, yeah, about. about the whole submitting thing. I don't think that that post uh. is about submitting. Oh, but I, no, I said I agree. I think that more. Oh, very, they won't boss them up. Yeah, they won't boss them up. It's very rare for mm. a woman to actually boss, boss her dude up. up, put her dude like help her mm. dude get on or whatever, and be supportive. Like exactly, it's like they guys. expect you. They expect you to already have it pre-made. Like, hey, you on your shit. I'm on my shit. We could be together. You on your shit. I'm not on my shit. We could be be together. I'm on my shit. You not on your shit? Nah, I don't think so. You know why? Because people are like, society's so fucked up. They looking at stuff from like what entertainers put out, maybe what like street dudes put out. I have dudes like come up to me like, <laughs> they trying to talk to me. They be talking about what they can do and all kind of stuff, but that doesn't entice me at all. So it's like, why even volunteer yourself to be put in that situation? So it's making females feel like that shit is acceptable. It's what you put out. So you think if a female put out, I let a nigga grease if uh oh whatever not even grease, I'll be with a nigga if he do for me. I think that's so fucked up. But that's what fe- but that's what females put out. That's a, why a lot of men not like courting us and stuff these days either. That's they, why we don't I take feel on like dates. No not more. taking a serious Chicken like, wings and fries, we don't go on dates. Yeah, hoes put it up. I don't out got there like no that. what if you just said? I don't got no manners for a slut. I'm gonna put my thumb in the butt. Yeah. See, that's how we but talk wait, like that. But, but there's nothing talk. wrong with a thumb in the butt. See, all right, see, now you're doing too much. Bro. Now you're doing too much, bro. All right, all right. All right, so, see, see, all right, what, what else you got going on for yourself, man? So, you know, because you know, you've been, you know, the second take, the second take is, is way, way, way better than the first take, man. Yeah, yeah second man. take was good. Mm-hmm. So, I've been just like marketing and branding myself. I've, I've stopped working in cor- corporate America. I've been is that, learning. Is that a, a something that you wanted to do or i always wanted to but i guess i was nervous like of failures Uh and stuff like i know that this money gonna come in from this job regardless Mm -hmm. because i'm good at what i do so i just had to take that same mindset and like i'm good at what i do at whatever it is i do Mm -hmm. like so i just i'm not afraid of failure anymore Um, you you're willing to take more risk you know when you're a boss when when you're a boss you gotta take some risk and whatnot and that's what i was afraid of taking risk yeah COVID got me on my shit. Uh, hey, me too, man. I'm yeah, telling you, man. COVID got me on my shit. Like, I feel like it, it's a it's a make or break type of year right now. Like, mm-hmm. shit. Like, if you a hey, you either got or you don't. Either you winning or you losing. Either you could eat or you gonna starve. I said that though. I said 2020. I said that a long you time ago that. that it was gonna. Yeah. You said that. Legit, because people that know. When you me said it's 2018. Mm, 19. Oh, you said oh oh you was one of the ones like not right before. Uh, so you didn't even know COVID was about to hit. Like, you didn't get the school. I knew that some strange... See, people think I'm weird when they really get to know me. Like, because I research all kind of stuff, and then I'm more, like, um, spiritual versus religion. Like, my daughter thought I was real weird and shit. She's like, Mom, so you don't believe in God? I'm like, yeah, I do. I just kind of take a new light on certain things or whatever. But I started saying that this year was going to be, like, an, a huge eye-opener in a lot of different aspects. Like, stuff that more than the... Um, like more than the shit was gonna be like super natural type of shit. What was that? I don't know, but I think the camera cut off. Which camera? Mine. Because oh. it's, it's on that screen. So yeah, the last part we didn't get the last that, part. That that was we not doing no take three. No, it was it was only like fifteen minutes. Okay, because you're gonna so go like 20, 25 minutes, the longest I've seen. Yeah, the longest. But the, the fifteen minute one, I, I look, I look. Okay, we had thirteen minutes. And I'm like, oh, it's not recording no more. But the way it ended, it was, it was good. Up? Okay. Yeah, so. But yeah, COVID got me. But people, think, people do think I'm weird, though, once they really get to Do you think I'm weird now that you've been talking one-on-one with me? No. Okay, good. Are you part Indian? No. Not at all? Not you know, that I know of. You know, people <laughs> no. who part Indian, like, they they um real, like, connected with that. Like, I, think yeah. I, I, think I, I don't speak juice. on it because people think I'm weird. You know, I was, like, talking to this guy one time. And we were out somewhere like a park thing, and I like I just stopped for a oh, minute. Let me play it back. Let me play it back. Go ahead, you can keep talking. I stopped for a minute and was like looking up in the sky and like opened my arms and was I forgot what I said, but I basically was telling him how the universe is spinning and how you can feel stuff and energy to that. It's spinning. He never, yeah, and I was talking about energy stuff. Do you know that man told me that I was weird and we never really talked again? For real? Yeah. Let's see. Oh yeah, 14, 12. Yes, oh, see, sir. right there at 15. Yours at 15? No, I'm at whatever, but I'm not even about to save this. Well, all right, let's hear it. Let me get a playback. The sun is out so much, I can't even. 
y'all better tune in tonight. Velvet Room podcast tonight at nine. Um, three and T. It's a, like a newer rap group. Three and T. Yeah, three and T. It's a rap group. With, it's three guys. I've actually, I'm like, they word is they're brothers, but they kind of one of them. I think just found out they're brothers. I don't know. I'm about to get into it tonight though. I have questions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just carry here. Let us know who we talking to today. All right, y'all. I'm out. Sherry Copeland, Miss Dublin.